it's Dorothy from PreppingYourStep.com and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one that I'm very excited for for a number of reasons, but mainly because I have some new items that I'm excited to show y'all. And secondly, because that means the corner of my room where they've been stored can finally be clean again because I just keep putting stuff over there. And these are a bunch of different things that I've purchased since being home. So this is definitely a collective over the past month or so. Although I have done a lot of shopping, so I'm afraid that this is going to be a long video. So we're just going to jump into it and we're going to start with clothing items because I have a big stack right over here. And just to remind you all to make this a lot easier for you all, if you do see something that you like, I link all the products below so you can just click the show more button and I'll type out just kind of like what I've called the product and then a link to the product so that you can shop really easily. But we're going to start with swimsuits since I've gotten a few new ones from Victoria's Secret and so I also think that they're having a big sale right now. So hopefully these are still on sale and you can shop them but the first one is this really cute high neck bathing suit and I've never had a high neck bathing suit and it's just black and white stripe with this pretty lavender and turquoise I guess straps um, and on the back you just tie it, I don't really know how to show this, um, you tie it and it has a yellow strap. So it's super adjustable, it looks great on, I posted an Instagram in this, but I got this for I think $13 when it was on sale, so definitely a good summer find. And a couple other Victoria's Secrets bathing suits that I picked up, I picked up this really fun black and white kind of like Dalmatian-y print, I don't know how it's showing up on camera, and at the top it has this orange trim and at the bottom it has hot pink, and then when you flip it around it has... Um, a nice lavender and then the orange and hot pink across the back and it also came with a strap for the top but it fell off and I assume that it is with the rest of the laundry <laughs> that I need to put away but another great suit for the summer and then lastly this may be my favorite bathing suit that I've picked up as of late it's just this really bright pink kind of a flirty flouncy top and it's off the shoulder so I wore this with a pair of gray bottoms and it looked really cute um, but they also have matching bottoms if you want to get those. But I love the off-the-shoulder look this summer, so I grabbed that too. Next up is a jacket that I got from Target, and I actually got it because my friend Nell and I went uh, to her beach house, and she was wearing it, and it was so soft, and it looked really cute on, so I had to go and get it. And it's more stripes, so it's just this black and white hoodie. Um, I'm not usually a big hoodie person, but I loved this, and it's perfect like lightweight to throw on in the summer, you know, this chilly summer nights, or to throw on over a tank top if you're going to work out. And I also can see myself wearing this a lot in the fall. So I'm excited to have that. I actually wore it as a pajama shirt last night. I was so excited about how soft it was. Next is a pair of shorts that I actually found on Poshmark and I had wanted these last year but I just never bit the bullet to buy them and they're originally from Necessary Clothing but I'm going to try to find something similar and link those below but they're these hot pink ruffle trim shorts. I love loose shorts like this in the summer and I've already worn these a variety of different ways so I know I'm going to continue to wear them but I really love just the style of them, that they have an elastic waistband and how flowy they are, which is perfect for the summer. And a lot of the clothes that I'm showing you will be appearing on the blog probably next week, so be sure to check over there because I am featuring some of the outfits that I put together with some of these pieces if you want to see kind of how I style them. But I have two more pairs of shorts to show you all, and the next two are just from Old Navy. Um, I have this black and white kind of diamond dot print short and the same style in another black and white geometric print. Um, so these are perfect for when I go and babysit. I like to look a little bit nicer, but I don't want to sacrifice comfort. So I think that these were each maybe 10 to $12 a piece, which was a great deal. So I'm excited to have these for the summer because they feel like I'm wearing pajama shorts. <laughs> Next is a dress that I'm so excited about. It's by a new company and the name of it is Crosby by Molly Birch. Um, and they launched the cutest spring and summer line. So I got this really fun high neck dress from them. It has this kind of sherbet-y orange and pale pink color and the back is so fun too so I don't know if y'all will be able to tell but this will be featured on the blog soon it has like this fun detailing right here 
Um, it's just the perfect summer event dress. I plan to wear it to a wedding that I'm going to. It's so comfortable and flowy and the best part is it's machine washable because my friends always borrow my clothes for functions and now I don't have to worry about them having to go and dry clean it. So I'm really excited to wear this. So I will definitely be styling this on the blog soon. But if you haven't seen the Crosby by Molly Birch spring and summer collection, definitely go to their site and check it out because they have so many fun colored pieces that are just perfect for the season. So the last few pieces kind of follow the overall trend that I feel like my life is taking. Uh, and that would be loving all things blue and white. So I'm currently redoing my room and it's going to be blue and white. My room at school is blue and white. I just have had an obsession for blue and white and that includes this really cute off the shoulder top. I wore it in a snapchat a little while back and was telling you all about it and it's also been featured on my Instagram but it has two different size stripes and then has these bow sleeves and is so cute on. Dad was like that's a really cool shirt last time I wore it so dad approved always a good thing but it is from Goodnight Macaroon which is a company that a lot of people may not have heard of but it'll also be linked below and it's such a fun summer top so I've worn it with white jeans I've worn it with shorts it's just one of those great pieces to grab and throw on when you're getting ready in the morning and want to look cute but with minimal effort so definitely a win next is the dress that you have seen if you've watched my morning routine video this is what I put on and it's this really cute blue and white embroidered dress and it's actually from forever 21 of all places so I'll link it below, hopefully it's still in stock, but if it's not, they have a tendency to bring things back in stock. Um, I just got this because I thought it would be perfect for student teaching. I have to be there every day um, at the beginning of the school year, so I needed some easy throw-on dresses, and I loved the style of this, and so I'm excited to start wearing that this summer. It looks especially cute with brown sandals, so a good find. And one more off-the-shoulder piece that has blue and white stripes, you guessed it. Um, I got this really fun dress from Tuckernuck, and I love that the off-the-shoulder ruffle is really structured, so this is the perfect summer dress because it's lightweight and it also has pockets, so I know I'll be wearing this a ton. I have a couple of different trips coming up, and I already am planning to pack this to take with me. So next up, I have a bag, and I've been wanting this bag for a while now. I just couldn't justify purchasing it until this summer, and that is the Madewell, I believe it's called the Transport Tote, and this is just the cognac saddle leather color. I can't remember exactly, but it is such a great bag. I ordered mine from Nordstrom, and it came in super quickly, and I just love the size and versatility that this bag has. I've been taking it with me when I go and nanny. Um, I'm honestly going to use it as a purse during one of the trips I'm going on, and I just know I'll have it for a really long time. I'll probably use it as a teacher tote some. But I'm really glad that I did finally decide to purchase this because it was a little bit more of a splurge, but I've already gotten so much use out of it and I know that this summer will not be the last season that I carry this. And inside this tote, I put a couple of different accessory items and some makeup that I've purchased recently. I'm telling you all, I've done a lot of shopping. Um, the first two things are these little bracelets. They're these turquoise bracelets with fun little tassels. This one's hot pink. And this one's kind of a mint green color. It's super fun to throw on with casual shorts and just brighten up the outfit. So I found those and I think they were under $10. And I just love them for summer. And the company that I ordered these from accidentally sent me someone else's order, which was this white one with a navy tassel. And so I emailed them and asked if I should just ship this to who it was supposed to go to. And they're like, no, keep it. So I got a little bonus one, which is exciting. I feel like that stuff never happens to me. But now I also have a white version, which would be good for 4th of July. As for makeup, I was running out of the foundation I really like, which is by Tarte. And for whatever reason, I didn't pick it back up, even though I definitely will be at some point. But I did get some similar items. I had heard great things about this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Tinted Moisturizer. And it's probably the fullest coverage of this sort of product that I've ever tried. And I really like it and I'm also really glad that I happened to pick it up in the right shade. And that may be because I'm starting to get a little bit more of a tan. But I'm just going to base it on luck. But I've really been liking this and it's inexpensive. You can get it from Target. You can get it from Ulta. Also when I was wandering around Ulta, I stumbled across this Benefit Bigger Than BB Big Easy Liquid to Powder 
foundation or tinted moisturizer. Well, I guess it's BB cream actually. Um, and because I had never heard of it, I really wanted to try it and I do like it. I really enjoy Benefits products, especially their packaging. So I'm excited to have tried this, especially because I hadn't heard anything about it and I do really like it. So a good summer coverage. And then also because I have the worst luck ever with concealer, I'd heard a lot of good things about this Instant Age Rewind Eraser Treatment Makeup. And I decided to try it and I love it. I'm so glad I did. Um, there's a sponge applicator at the top and really liquidy concealer, which is what I need. I put a little under my eyes and then also on any spots that may need a little extra coverage. So definitely worth the hype. And because I'm a nail polish junkie, I picked up two more colors. This one is the least practical color for spring and summer, but I know it'll get a lot of wear in the fall and winter and it is the color petal pusher and it's just this like dark blue gray color and I really love that in the fall so I'm excited to have that even though I can't really wear it right now but this color I can and it's in the color Gojinza I think that's how you say it G-I-N-Z-A it'll be linked below but it's actually what's on my nails right now it's a light purple and I love it moving right along I wish I could tell you that we're halfway there but I'm not really sure I recently got this tote bag in the mail from the brand Sloan Ranger. Well, it's not a tote bag. It's actually a duffel bag. And it has the cutest palm leaf print on it. And I'm excited to use this for some beach trips and other trips I have coming up. It's a great size duffel. So that's awesome. But I wanted to show you all this in case you're looking for a nice summer duffel. And it also comes with a long strap. And you can make it smaller, which I think is really nice because versatility is essential when I'm finding stuff to put in my closet. Now for more workout related stuff, I love Bar 3 and if you've been reading the blog you probably know that, but I don't have a studio near me so I had been going to Pure Bar, um, but I still was missing Bar 3 and so I decided to sign up for Bar 3 online and when I did that I went ahead and ordered the Core Ball from their site and the resistance band is in this bag that we'll get to in a minute, but this is just great to have when I'm doing their online workouts, which I'll link below. I think it's like $19 a month to do online workouts, which is great if you want to try um, some bar exercises at home without committing to going to a studio. But I got this, and then I was sent this cookie, or these spirit animal crackers, from the company Good Zebra. And what's great about these is they're great for after working out, and I have the biggest sweet tooth ever. So I was really excited to get these in the mail. Um, I'm going to have these in a blog post very soon because they're that good. I already tried the lemon and the vanilla flavored ones. I haven't tried their chai flavored ones, but it's awesome because these have 6 grams of protein. That's what I usually need when I start to get hungry. So I have been eating these after working out or before working out and know I'll be ordering some more when this collection of them is gone. <laughs> So here's the resistance band that I also ordered from Bar 3. It came with the core ball and also so that I could utilize the most from my online workouts. I just got these two pound weights from Target. Um, in the studio, I usually use the two pound weights, so I decided to get a pair of my own. Um, I know that seems like a pretty small weight, but when you're doing the exercises for a while, like you do with Bar 3 online, you don't need a heavier weight. So honestly, I'd start with one pound if you're just getting into it, but I picked up these two pound ones and I really like that they're hot pink. <laughs> also for workout wear, I placed an order from Lululemon recently because I'd seen some stuff that I wanted to try out. So the first thing I purchased are these Hottie Hot shorts and I've never had a pair of Lululemon shorts. I don't really like some of the styles they have because I feel like they're kind of tight and I like my shorts to flare out and that's exactly what these do. I just got them in a black color and they flare out at the leg instead of like kind of coming in like some of theirs um, and they have a nice pocket on the back which is only big enough to like put a key or something but they're so comfortable and honestly sometimes when I'm wearing them I feel like I'm not wearing shorts which is a little alarming until you remember that you just have this pair of shorts on and I found that they fit true to size I just got the same size that I get in all my Lululemon stuff and to match that and to go with all the wild and fun colorful leggings that I've been wearing lately to go to bar, I just got this plain white tank, which it's funny that it wrinkles. A lot of the reviews online were pretty negative about this tank, but I really like it. 
Um, if you do have a bigger chest, I would recommend going up a size, but my normal size worked great. I just loved how simple it was and that it was just a really lightweight material, but it wasn't too see-through. So perfect for all of the fun colored leggings that I have, and it's a great piece to have in the summer, especially when it's so hot when I go outside to work out. Next, I have two pairs of shoes. The first is an updated version of my running shoes. These are just the Brooks Ghost. I think these are the eight. Really like the Ghost 7s. I'm not a huge fan of the colors of these, but this is the best shoe for what I need when I'm running. Um, so I just got them when I could, and I'll link those below. But I just need to get them dirty because I think the thing is they look too clean to me and they look brand new and I don't want my shoes to look brand new. So I'll be hitting the pavement in these soon. And the last pair of shoes is more fun. It is this pair that I ordered from Nordstrom. I kept them in the box and it's by the brand Mark Fisher. And I've been seeing like espadrille wedges everywhere and when I found this pair I was like okay I'll try these. They're not actual like wedges, but they do have a slight platform, which I like. And this tan color will go with pretty much everything I showed y'all, um, aside from maybe the black shorts. But I'm excited to be wearing these because I think these are great for summer. And they're really on trend right now. And I think these are on sale when I purchased them. So that's awesome. And this last thing may be what I'm most excited to show y'all, but it's also slightly ridiculous. But it is this light box, and you can change what it says. And mine's plugged in right now, so I could show you all how it lights up. That's probably freaking out the camera. But it's so cute, and it's still online, so it's definitely linked below along with all of the different letter packs I have. So, of course, I just put in prepping your step, telling y'all you should probably subscribe. And I also have the emoji pack, so I went ahead and put those on there. So I just put them in little Ziplocs so that I could show them to y'all without them being in the package. So I have the emojis. I have the pink shadow letters, which you can see right there. I have just the traditional numbers and the traditional black letters. But I would recommend that if you're gonna order these and you wanna put maybe longer stains on these, just go ahead and order two packs of like either the black letters or the shadow letters just so that you have enough letters to write out what you want to say. And then the last things I picked up were these, I think they're like the Celebrate package and they are just longer saying so they'll fit all the way across. Um, and I know that we're going to have so much fun with this in my apartment as a tool for different blog photos and stuff of that nature. But I think it would be perfect just like in a classroom as decoration in your home. It could go just about anywhere and it wasn't too expensive. I just think it's the most fun little thing ever, so I had to get it. So that concludes this early summer haul. Hopefully you stuck around all the way through. I'd love to hear which piece I picked up is your favorite or if you're eyeing any of these same pieces to purchase for yourself. Just let me know in the comments, but also let me know what videos you'd like to see. I think I'm going to transition to a Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday schedule just because that's a lot better for me to be able to have time to edit and sit down and film videos for y'all. But in the meantime, check out my blog. You'll be seeing lots of these clothes featured there soon. And follow me on different social media accounts. Those are always linked below. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Turning heads when you walk through the door.